Hi everyone, welcome back to Lou's Travels. For today's vlog, we're going to do the Devil's Pulpit in Glasgow or just outside Glasgow. So we're going to take you along. We've never been before, but we've had looked online at some pictures and it looks pretty cool. So that's what we're doing today. I think the temperature in the car is 22 degrees. So it's going to be quite warm and I think you can swim at them. So we're just going to go and see what it's like. It's ironic, we live in a seaside town and we're trying to escape all the traffic. Uh, everyone from Glasgow seems to be heading our way, their bus coaches and everything, and we are heading the opposite way, so hopefully we'll get a nice clear road up to Glasgow. are better than the, uh, the down south. Turns out they're not. Now we're stuck in traffic. Um, it looks as if everybody's uh, going to Loch Lomond for the day because we're now trapped at the turn off. Maybe not even half a mile from where we're meant to be turning off and we're going like uh, 20 miles an hour. <laughs> Oops, shouldn't count my chickens. So this is us just heading on to the Erskine Bridge. I would say this is probably the start of how you get to Loch Lomond. This is like one route. Um, and this is us just going through. It's a pretty cool bridge to be honest and it's got lovely views um, at either side. So it's maybe the, not the best day to choose to come uh, because um, it's such a beautiful day and everyone will be heading to Loch Lomond. This is the bridge. This is a view from the bridge. I'm not tall enough, we're not in Lily today, so um, I'm a bit lower than I would be normally. And this is the bridge through here. And the view to the other side, but you, uh, you won't really be able to see anything, it's just all the railings. And the hills in the background. Pretty cool. How beautiful is it just driving through the trees? They're all over us. It's so pretty. I love it. There were some better ones behind, but I didn't realize how long it went on for. These ones aren't as good. But it's pretty cute. Well, 
this is a disaster. We've just arrived and they're absolutely nowhere to park. The car park is heaving. It's got a road closure at the other end of the road and it's got double yellows everywhere so I don't actually know where we're going to park which is really annoying because we came all this way and it was a lot longer than what we thought. Um, it wasn't just outside Glasgow, we actually went into Stirling, the district of Stirling so it was quite further than what, what we thought so now we're just waiting for a car park space and hopefully we get one without destroying our car. So this is us arrived but we've had to park quite a long way away because there were no car park spaces whatsoever which is quite annoying but at least we're on the way we stopped and we had lunch before we came because it was too far to walk holding all the bags and everything so we just took some swimming stuff with us um, in case we decide to have a swim but we'll see what it's like when we get to it. This is our current view. Here's the car park which is actually tiny and there are people double parked all down this road down here they um, on double yellow lines. It's absolutely mob so considering it's so busy hopefully it's going to be a great day. Hopefully we're on the right path. I'm not sure that we are because there seem to be lots of different paths to take but everybody says different um, about which one you have to take so we have just um, watch someone on YouTube and we're taking the path that they took after going the wrong way so hopefully we make it safe and sound. So this is us just arrived here but I don't think we've got the right e e entrance um, so we're just going to go back onto the main road and see if we can get down. If not we've got another mile walk to the other side um, so it's not really going well at all. It's very, it's not very well signposted at all um, which way you're meant to take or anything which is annoying. So we're literally walking down the main road uh, to try and find the entrance um, but I really do think we went the total wrong way but my partner's insistent that we haven't so we're just going to carry on and see if we end up there or not. I can hear the water but I think the entrance to actually get anywhere near the water is at the other side. So this is us onto the path. Um, just now, hopefully it's the right path to actually get us down to the water. It's a bit boggy but nothing too much. And the trees are all coming out of the ground. The path, I don't know if you can see that. Pretty cool. We'll just go to the edge and show you. This is the, the gorge that we're trying to get to. Can't really see anything. I don't know if you can see the water over there in the distance or not. It's not really shown up very well. But down there is where we're trying to get to. This is the devil's pulpit down here that we're trying to get to. But we found this bit here but it's far too steep to go down and we're not going to risk it. So we're just going to carry on to see if we can get anywhere anywhere better to get down and hopefully get a little swim in it. It's an even better view of where we're trying to get to. It's so steep um, but hopefully we can get right down there just along a bit and there should be a rope path so let's hope we find it. Oh wow how cool does that look. We still can't find it but we can see somebody down there in it so we're just going to have to go up, up to go, to go back down by the looks of it. This is honestly a wee maze. We can see people down um, in the water but we can't get down to ourselves. Uh, I have a funny feeling that we might have took the complete and utter wrong path. But there are loads of people down there in the water and that's where we're heading to go ourselves. How cool does this look? I'm so jealous and I just want to get down and swim in it myself. After all that we're finally found the steps to get us down into the water. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up but there are steps all the way down. So excellent we're going to get to go. He's excited to go down into the water? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? It's going to be super cool going down all these steps. And then you get to swim in the devil's pulpit or what's pulpit. pulpit. So that'll be cool. 
let's go and have some fun. So these are the stairs down. They're quite steep uh, and stony, but they're apparently a rope as you get further down. Quite dangerous, really. Very slippy. But I suppose it wouldn't be called the devil's pulpit if it wasn't dangerous. is absolutely very sketchy all the way down i don't know if the camera does it justice but it's so so slippy and steep and you're basically crawling in your hands and knees to get down uh, i don't see the rope yet um so i don't know where that is but here's a view of what we're seeing it's very beautiful but also very scary onto the tree trunk and come down that's it it's a wee banister Good girl. How is it? Is it scary? Yes. Yes. Very scary. You hold on and come down as well. How cool is the, tree, the bit of a uh, tree helping us down? Really cool. Is it scary? Yeah. Yeah. And then Car is down here and we're just going to follow her. The tree is quite handy to hold because it's very slippy. Very slippy indeed. And we're nowhere near yet, we've still got all this bit down here to go. This is how steep and narrow it is, it's getting really bad. Um, but the kids are having fun and it's a bit of danger and excitement. And finally this is what it looks like when you get down all the scary steps. Very pretty. And I'm sure the children can't wait to get into the water. What do you think Corny? just came from all the way up there you can't even see the gap that we squeeze through in between the rocks or the hill literally we caves all the way through it looks amazing I can't wait to get in the water super pretty how beautiful is this place absolutely amazing nice to see everyone having some fun how cool is it? Is it very cold? What do you think, Cara? Is it fun or is it dangerous? So this is us in the water now and it's absolutely beautiful but freezing cold. Absolutely freezing. And this is how far down we are. It looks cool. And I'm absolutely going to brave a swim in here eh, because it's probably a thing that you only do once every so often so I'm going to brave it. It's absolutely icicles but I'm doing it. The water is so clear but so freezing. It's so beautiful, so green. And then there are a wee waterfall over here. Very pretty. The sun is shining through the trees and then there are beautiful waterfalls over there. I don't know how well you can see it because it's so sunny. And this is Courtney because she wants to get up over here without swimming. And Cara's here. Are you having a wee dance, Cara? Cara climbing over to her sister. Courtney's already there trying to push us all to get up over here. But it's a lot dangerous uh, or scary than I thought to be honest and the water's icicles. This is the view from here. The kids all want to go up this bit of wood onto the top where the man is but there were a man previous and he just fell and we don't think we should do it. What do you think Corny? Do you I'm still want to do it? I'm no.
These are the people now struggling to get back down and get up um, over here to get into the waterfalls but we just don't want to do it because it looks a bit dangerous uh, just because I've got younger kids. If I had my partner here then I would have done it with them but not being by myself because I'd probably smash my camera. But it's absolutely beautiful. It's been a really good day out and I would recommend it but I would really recommend it for young children because it's a bit too dangerous, um, probably 8 plus or something. Uh, the steps are really hard to come down and getting along to the other bits and they're not actually that far you can walk for the younger ones because you have to go up water falls and stuff like that and it's just too dangerous. I wouldn't like to do it really myself because I'd probably end up falling and hurting myself but it's definitely worth a visit. It was uh, great fun. Just a final view before we walk back up. So this is us walking back up the stairs and I think it will be a lot easier on the way back up than it was on the way down. So that's quite good. Car is acing it. Keep going car. Actually it's not that much easier going up than it was coming back down. There are a lot of climbing to get up. <laughs> but, but we can do it. Struggling a little. That's us at the top now and it's just stairs, thankfully. Oops, I nearly just slipped. Well done, Cara. So that's us just at the top of the stairs now. Absolutely fantastic. As I say, it's a bit dangerous, but it's cool. And it gives some risk to the kids as well. And shows them how to uh, navigate their way down and stuff. So it was really, really cool. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Would definitely come back. And as I said, it's well worth a visit. I was literally just swimming down there. Amazing. I can't believe I've done it, actually. It's normally Courtney that's the brave one, but today it was me. Literally, I was just swimming up uh, down there and now I'm up on top looking down at everybody. The camera just doesn't pick up how high it is, but right down there, that's where I was swimming. Amazing. So guys, we're just going to head back to the car now. So I'm going to end the vlog here with this lovely view. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Take care. Please give me a like and subscribe and bye for now.